You know, I find there's some confusion about this term terroir, and I guess it's sensible that there's confusion because it's not an English word. But we need an English word that, that the best attempt was somewhere in this. I, I think that still stands as the best attempt to translate it. But what is it? Well, people think, people think, oh, terroir, it's the soil, it's what's under our feet. That's a piece of terroir, that's a part of terroir, but you know what, that, that's in no way is that the whole picture. Terroir is, is much more that giant body of water behind us, right? That has a lake effect on these vineyards. It stunts the early ripening, stunts the start of your season, but then it extends your final ripening stage well past what you would get in, well, the rest of Canada for sure, most of the rest of the world, uh, with some exceptions. But that's terroir. That's the exciting thing about, about wine growing in this area or in that area in different appellations. When you get such a profound effect that just changes how the grapes ripen, well, that's terroir. And what do you get in your glass? Something that tastes totally different. Well, that's terroir.